Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, January 6th, 2020. But with that said, please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is specifically dated for the 6th of January, it does not mean it absolutely has to resonate at that time. Whenever you come across this reading, whenever you are guided to watch this reading, then that is most likely the message for you at that time. Um, so just roll with it. Yeah. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not necessarily everything is going to resonate for everybody. All right. So take what resonates and just leave what doesn't. Yes. I just want to uh, throw out a quick reminder here. This Wednesday, we will be doing happy hour and it's going to be a special session because Wednesday, January 8th is the second is the two year anniversary or the second birthday is what I really wanted to say is uh, the second birthday of Divine Conversations. Yeah, which is super, super exciting. Um, I uploaded my first video on January 8th of 2018. So now that we are here in 2020, Divine Conversations is turning two years old. You guys, Divine Conversations is a toddler is entering toddler stages, which is adorable. But then also I recognized that in terms of um, Western astrology, Divine Conversations is a Capricorn. Um, and then also uh, in Eastern astrology, Divine Conversations actually would be a Sagittarius, I believe. Because in Eastern astrology, I believe we're still in Sagittarius season. I don't think we switch into Capricorn season until like the like the 15th or 16th or something maybe the 17th whatever but that's that's Vedic astrology that's Eastern astrology um, for the most part you know we follow tropical or Western astrology here anyway I don't that's I'm not even trying to get into that I was just, <laughs> sorry guys I'm getting off on a tangent here but anyway so happy hour this Wednesday is going to be um, uh, a little mini birthday party for Divine Conversations. I have a number of packages here that I've been holding. So I'm going to do a little bit of an unboxing. A lot of this is from Christmas gifts from the holiday that you guys have sent me. I am going to be checking in with the P.O. box. Um, I might be able to get to that today, but I'm at least going to check at least once or twice before we have that session just to see if anything else comes out or if, uh, uh, just to see if anyone has sent anything else. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really excited about that. It's going to be so much fun. Normal time, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. Um, the floor is not open yet. Uh, I will be opening the floor on Wednesday. So I'm not taking, I'm not taking um, uh, orders for that just yet. But I just wanted to put that on your radar. So if you wanted to at least join us for, you know, the unboxing, the little party, whatnot, whatever, um, then please do. I would also encourage you to stay, stick around for the, the personal readings afterwards, because like we usually like to say there, oftentimes you'll get something for yourself. Something will end up resonating with you and you'll get some sort of insight and you didn't even have to get your own reading, right? <laughs> also keep in mind that I do go live on Instagram beforehand and I do a little bit of a, a collective check-in for the Insta fam and for whomever wants to, you know, tune in. Yeah, that usually happens around 515 Eastern Standard Time and then 6 p.m. is officially happy, excuse me, happy hour session. Yes. All righty, kids. So um, I believe that's it for now. Let's just get into today's energies. So this, the, the pre-shuffle that I have here, which consists of the Hanged Man, which is in reverse, and the Knight of Swords, which is upright, overall energy of the Nine of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands, okay? This is actually the second pull that I have in terms of pre-shuffle energies for the collective here. The first pull that came out felt, well, yes, Spirit Spirit said, this, this is actually your energy, okay? This is something that you're dealing with right now. And it feels very similar to this. 
Um, and even one of, uh, one of the cards that came out for me in that first pre-shuffle is actually here right now, and it's the Nine of Pentacles. Um, but so I'm going to explain, even though that was that was like a personal little personal message for me, I am going to explain it a little bit because even as I was looking into it, it still felt relevant. It still felt like it would be relevant to the collective. But because Spirit specifically said this was a message for me, I was like, all right, cool. Let me just, I, okay, I hear what you're saying, Spirit. Thank you so much. I put it back in and I asked for the next, for like the message for the collective. And this came out. So what came out for me was the Three of Swords that one card um and as you know this is the vice versa deck the, the the each side of the card has a different depiction um there is and so with the three of swords there is like the 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 original side right and on that card it is you have a shield with a heart on it that's stabbed with three swords it's like three has three swords piercing through it and there's a there's a flower there's a rose on the ground that has been completely trampled right on that side of the card it's talking about the heartbreak the onset of the heartbreak this is like the moment when it happens it's still fresh it's still an open wound something like that on the other side of the card you have an individual that's like it's a dark it's a it's like a nighttime scene you have an individual sitting on a rock and he's staring at that shield with the three swords in it and, um and there in on that side of the card there's also a, a flower but this time it's not trampled it's not a rose it's some sort of blue flower but it's a, a living flower that's growing behind the um the shield okay that is pierced with these three hearts and on that side you can see it as someone maybe finally is what i heard finally getting over the heartbreak or finally facing the situation so that they can heal from it right well when this card came out for me it was the the front side of the card where you have the initial damage with the three swords uh, right in the shield right um and the overall energy was the page of swords and the nine of pentacles but for me the nine of pentacles came out this way it was this side of the card Okay. And then when I did the, when I reshuffled for the collective and I even like, I took that card, I did like another parlor shuffle and then I reshuffled here to get this energy and this came out again, but it's this side of the card where it's facing you. Okay. For me, that was something happened, something was said, some sort of communication was made, page of swords, but it was fairly immature. It wasn't really appropriate and it kind of pissed me off. Um, and I actually had to like leave the area for a moment to collect myself because I got super emotional about it and I needed to just deal with that for a second. Um, now, granted, I understand why that happened. Um, and I also understand my reaction to it. I didn't pop off. I didn't get mad at the person. I didn't fire back. I just kind of like, well, I flipped them off, but <laughs> I did. I didn't do it in a way that they could see it. Um, and I left. And I left the the area because I wanted to deal with the emotions. So I understand why it happened, but also my reaction was important because that that it marked a moment where, and that's where we get into this Nine of Pentacles energy. It marked a moment where I was like, you know what? I don't need this. I'm turning my back on this. I don't need. I have my own direction. I know what it is I'm doing. I know what my intuition tells me. I don't need your validation. So I'm not, I mean, yeah, okay, that pissed me off. And yeah, okay, that's on my, or you're on my radar now for certain, in a certain, in a certain way that you haven't been on my radar before. And I'm not holding a grudge. I'm not holding it against you. I understand why, um, why you are in the energy that you're in and whatnot whatever but i'm also in a brand new energy that in which i can't entertain that kind of behavior any longer so it's not like we're not friends anymore it's not like i hate you but at the same time i have to go in my own direction i have to turn my back on this um and that's all an internal dialogue this is not something that i said to the person but okay so how does that relate to what was going on here? Well, with the hanged man in reverse and the pay, I'm sorry, the knight of swords. See, now for me, it was the page of swords when it came out originally. And now the knight of swords is coming out here. So there's some sort of awakening that has happened with this hanged man in reverse here. It's like you went through a period of indoctrination for a long time. And then you started to see clearly or start to see the truth behind the matter. And then you went through like a, an awakening, right? That's kind of what I see with this side of the hanged man, because it's the two individuals um, that are actually being indoctrinated by the Hierophant earlier in the Major Arcana that are standing here in front of the hanged man saying, oh man, wait a second, 
there's a whole new way of looking at things. I definitely see this side of the card as a strong in a strong in uh, uh, a strong indication of an awakening. Okay, from the sleep of indoctrination, we could say now. When it came out here for the collective, it has come out in reverse. That could mean maybe you're stuck or stagnant in this phase, but that's not what I'm feeling for the collective right now. What I'm feeling is you've come out of this period of, awake, of awakening. You see behind the veil. You see the deeper meaning of things. You see how there could be more than just one way to view the situation. And now with the Knight of Swords energy, you're charging forward um, in in. The direction that this is inspiring you towards or charging forward with what it is you have learned with straight up independence and autonomy nine of pentacles seven of wands also keeping your defenses up now here's the thing about the seven of wands so advice is coming through with the seven of wands for you guys yes keep your boundaries but also recognize that everyone's not out to get you Okay, so you don't have to you don't have to be so mean, you don't have to be so malicious, you don't have to be so much on the defensive, you know what I mean? Definitely keep your boundaries, 1111. <laughs> Definitely keep your boundaries, but also be easy. Again, everyone is not out to get you. Okay? You see here, normally this person would be fighting off or is seeming to fight needing to fight off or defend himself, okay? Boundaries, right? defense but there's no one else here there's no one else on the card with him yeah there's a bunch of armor there was a battle going on but that's not happening any longer okay does that make sense so don't worry about it stay in your autonomy stay in your truth stay what stay in the in on the path of what you know is right for you okay excellent 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 all right, guys, so I'm going to give this one shuffle and then we will see what else we've got for the collective today. <laughs> Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, January 6th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. We're going to do this three shuffles, and then we will see what we've got for you. One, for the collective, for Monday, January 6th, 2020. Two, and three. All righty, kids. All right, Spirit, what would you like to discuss with us today? Monday, January 6th. I'm seeing purple, guys. Uh, higher wisdom is coming through. Higher thought process is something that I just heard. Higher realms of thinking. Higher realms of understanding. This could even be... I'm, I'm, I'm even getting a sense of um, strong discernment, which is a good thing. Monday, January 6th, 2020. Okay, there's more. There's more. I don't know what that card is. My eyes are closed. Let's see. What else? Oh, that. okay. Monday, January. Woo! Okay, they're saying one more pull. Yes, please. Okay. This is the last one. You got it. All right. Last one. Monday. Okay, now I'm seeing pink. So whatever wisdom is coming through here is influencing an influx, I'm hearing, of um, unconditional love. We have, oh, 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 okay. Well, look, we have the Seven of Wands again, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. This is your overall energy right now, okay? Um, mm, okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, 
oh, oh, oh, oh shit all right um i thought i saw the tower there yeah so we have the tower on the table we have the king of swords the nine of swords the king of cups We have the Six of Cups with Justice. We also have the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Sun. Okay, um, so obviously with these kings on the table here, we could be talking about masculine energy. Uh, individuals that identify as masculine, whether you're a man or a woman, doesn't matter. Or it could be your inner masculine energy. Um... I feel like I'm hearing that this has to do with communication. Okay. Okay, so here's the thing. If there is something that you're looking to communicate, be truthful about, be honest about. Um... It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. It's something that you really should go ahead, go forward with. Please bear with me. I'm trying to figure out how to, how to, where to even start because I, I'm, I'm picking up on what this is saying. I'm picking up on a storyline. I just, I'm not quite sure where to begin. So we're going to begin here. You have the six of cups with justice and the two of pentacles. Okay. Now, normally, a lot of the time we were getting, recently at least, we were getting the Two of Pentacles with, um, it was the other side of the card where it was like the dog and pony show, where it's like people, someone was putting on a show for the others to watch, keeping up appearance, juggling, something like that. Here, there is an energy of working on maintaining balance as some sort of ships come in. You see, you see how that ship is right there behind that? Like this kid that's juggling these these pentacles there's an energy of being in a peaceful state even though there is a little still a little bit of turmoil here i'll get to that in a second but i'm still getting a fairly peaceful energy from this two of pentacles uh, and i feel like there's an awareness of that's that someone holds in terms of um, something from the past. What I am getting with the Six of Cups here is a soulmate relationship, potentially. Um, someone from your past or something that might be really nostalgic for you. Something that you, from your past, that you may have wanted to overcome or uh, tap into, dive into, embark on. Maybe this is a creative project for you. Um, but I'll also, I, I do strongly feel with the Six of Cups, Justice, and the Two of Pentacles that someone is in the process of maintaining their balance because they know that there's some sort of justice that's going to be served in terms of something from the past. This could very well be a legal situation for some for some of you. I do, I am picking up on that. There is a legal situation in which you are well aware that it is going to work, that the chances that it's going to go in your favor are very, very high. And there really isn't anything else that you can do about it at this moment. You followed through what I'm hearing. I'm hearing things like you've, you've, you, you've been on your P's and Q's, you've dotted your I's and you've crossed your T's, you've, you've done everything to the letter of the law you have you're in good standing with the, with i'm hearing the court system but i want to kind of want to say the judge something like that okay there really is nothing you can do other than just sit back and let the justice system do its job therefore you have this energy of maintaining your balance while you wait for your ships to come in okay for some and i excuse me i don't mean to laugh i'm not making fun of any anyone but this is really specific and it's coming through so i'm just going to say it for some of you this has to do with child support or alimony <laughs> in some way um a windfall in that case good on you good for you i mean if that's i mean especially now if we're Okay, well, not necessarily good for you. I mean, a divorce is not always, I mean, I don't, I don't know, depending on your circumstances. You, you get what I'm saying, but like, okay, whatever. That's very specific. Obviously, that's not going to be for everybody, but that's what was coming through there. So I was just going to, I was just going to throw it out. Very interesting, though. Okay, I just recognized we have the judge right here, the king of swords, the tower, the King of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the King of Cups. So 
so literally if you're dealing with some sort of legal situation the tower it could really be the judge the the the, the judgment call that the judge brings forward and you might be pretty anxious about that with the nine of swords but with the king of cups here i really with his back turned i kind of feel like this is symbolic of someone really really working on keeping their emotions in check it's almost as if you don't want to watch whatever is how it's going to come down or how it's going to all going to go you just want to you just want to hear it when it's whenever the judge makes makes his or her call just let me know. I can't like I I can't watch this. I can't. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this King of Cups energy. I can't watch this. I'm sorry. I just can't watch this. Um, and you might be doing some things to distract yourself to stay in somewhat of a playful energy because you do have that dolphin down there, and dolphins do symbolize playfulness. It's kind of what I'm getting there. So you might really be trying to distract yourself. Um, and you might feel like you're a little bit in, I'm still talking to whomever is dealing with a, a legal situation here for, of some sort, but, um, and then we're going to see, we're going to talk about how else this can play out. But some of you might really feel like you're in the dark right now, like you are um, cordoned off. That's what I'm hearing. You do have the sun here, but it's the side of the sun where, you know, this, the child and the horse are behind the walls of this city, I guess, or this the, the wall, I don't know, the walls of the castle, maybe, I don't know. Um, there is a bit of confinement here, but it really is for your own good. And it could really be driving you mad, driving you absolutely mad with five of pentacles, five of wands. It's like, okay, you're inside, you're inside some sort of sanctuary here, but that doesn't make whatever it is you're going through any easier to deal with. And I really do feel like this is, we don't have the swords here. Okay, this is not the five of swords. It's the five of pentacles and the five of wands. However, the way this person in the five of pentacles is sitting here, it's like, good God, when uh, like, it's like their thoughts are over. Are, are, are overtaking them like they can't they can't shut their mind up they wish this would just be over already there's all kinds of internal conflict happening here but you are being cordoned off for a reason or you're in some sort of um i want to say solitary confinement oof okay um uh maybe this is someone in your family a loved one who's in some sort of jail cell who's in some sort of solitary confinement because i did hear that um it might it really i feel like it's kind of for their own protection that's what i'm picking up on here um for their own good maybe because so that they don't harm themselves maybe so that they don't harm others or maybe so that others don't harm them that's a thing <laughs> um Okay. All right. Now, the other thing that I was picking up on here, there is a slight a slight twinge or a slight energy of some sort of soulmate counterpart situation here. I did get that with the 6 of cups. Um also, I'm getting it with the king of cups and the king of swords. And, okay, so getting back to what I was saying, if there's some sort of some form of communication here, that is desired is if there's a message that you want to send to someone seeing that come through in the tower here the tower being something very very sudden that changes things like crazy like l seemingly out of nowhere it's really not in, in all in in all seriousness guys it's not out of nowhere it might seem like that in once it happens or when you experience it in the 3d but to be quite honest there is momentum that is building here Okay, there is an electrical charge that is starting to build, which will give rise or give way to the bolt of lightning that's going to strike this tower and change things for, okay, I'm hearing change things for good, change things permanently. Okay, now, this is the energy of that momentum or that electrical charge building. King of Swords, uh, I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords, sandwiched between the King of Swords and the King of Cups, okay? So we could really be talking about a masculine individual here or a masculine energy, someone that um, really identifies uh, with masculine energy. You don't have to be physically male. Again, we, we say this as readers, we say this all the time. We're talking energy here, not gender, okay? Um, and even if, you're, you, even if you are more on the feminine side, this could 
really speak to your masculine energy within there's if, especially if there's some sort of new direction you want to move in or some sort of action you want to take for for those of you though on that on that end of the spectrum i feel like this is business wise okay not necessarily in love um but for some masculines out there from for some of the masculines out there that oh no i whatever what i'm seeing sorry guys i'm, I'm bouncing all over the place what i'm seeing here with this is the King of Swords and the King of Cups are having a conversation. How do we convey this message? There, there is anxiety here. Um, and honestly, I really feel like it's the King of Cups energy that's really feeling the anxiety. It's almost as if the King of Cups is, is communicating with the King of Swords. Like, how, what do I say? How do I do this? How do I do this without creating a fight? How do I do this without coming off wrong or weird or stupid? It's as if the King of Cups is getting advice from the King of Swords. Now, you could be doing that in the external. However, I really do feel like that is that has a lot, uh, for the most part, that's happening internally. Um, but you could be com communicating with some friends, maybe some family members. You could even be communicating like with your father about how to approach someone. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing loving and encouraging wisdom and guidance is coming from this King of Swords energy here. You don't have to be so wrapped up in the emotions. You don't have to be so fearful. Okay. I really feel like this King of Cups is really trying to contain himself. Regardless of whatever situation you're dealing with, whether it be... Um, <laughs> yes guys i hear you <laughs> sorry um whether it be whether you're in like a legal situation or this is this is resonating on a love tip for you you don't have to be so anxious about it it's gonna be okay like it's almost as if this king of swords energy is talking the king of cups off the ledge trying to convince <laughs> It's like the mind is trying to convince the heart that you're not going to get rejected. So let's go back to this then. Five of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Sun. So there is a little bit of solitary confinement. There is a little bit of being closed off, potentially. Feeling like the universe is restricting you a little bit in some way. It's only so that it can help you deal with this feeling of inadequacy, this internal conflict, that kind of energy, right? Feeling like you're not enough. Feeling like you're not going to be enough. That, that's not the case. It's not the case at all. So there's a little bit of a, a waiting period or a quarantine period where it's like, no, no, we're not going to let you cross this wall or cross this bridge until you finally believe in yourself enough to know that you are worthy of this. That whatever it is you're moving towards here is balanced, is going to be balanced, and is going to bring greater justice into your life. Okay, this could, this could, because I just heard, so go ahead and take that leap of faith. So this could be a, a continuation of the message that was coming through last week about taking some sort of leap of faith. Okay. You might even be in an energy right now with the, the side of the sun here in which you're kind of quarantined a little bit. You might be in an energy of still trying to plan out your action. Okay. But your overall energy here is the seven of wands and the seven of pentacles now this i feel like is a good thing um what it's saying here is to stand your ground to hold your own because you're about to receive the fruits of your labor okay now in this deck the seven of pentacles is not a really joyful looking card i don't necessarily like that about this depiction of the seven of pentacles because the seven of pentacles doesn't always have to be bad Okay, and either way you look at this card, look, it's like gray and a, and dismal on this side. And then you look at this side and you see this guy has this like terrible, awful look on his face. Like, oh God, I didn't want that. That's not the energy that I'm getting with this. Oh, look, the Six of Swords is underneath the Seven of Pentacles. That's not what I'm, I'm not getting a, a, an abysmal energy. I am getting an energy of um, you reap what you've sown. But at this point with what's going on here and the rest of the energies and the, and the, and the cards that have come out, you... What you're about to reap is actually something good. It's something that you wanted. 
and you know that it's coming. So now you're kind of dealing with some sort of last minute purge in terms of worthiness. Okay. Okay, cool. No, I said, okay, cool. Not okay, Google. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, let's move into clarification. And I want to start here. I might end up clarifying all three of these stacks, but what I really want to talk about first is the five of pentacles, five of wands with the sun. Okay, so first of all, that's a five five. Okay, that's change. That's change, especially with this tower energy that's here, all right? And it's change for the better. Look, the, you can either, you can see this side of the sun also in one of two other ways. Either the sun is setting or the sun is rising. I kind of feel like the sun is rising here. And you're coming to a period where you're finally going to be able to be released from these walls that you've been behind. But as the sun is rising, it's also bringing some some fears back to light that you may not have necessarily dealt with or really seen in a long time and it's all and literally it's all just part of the preparation process spirit is saying we want you to be as comfortable and confident as you possibly can so that you can get through this and you can keep moving with that same momentum okay so I do feel like there's a I'm spirit is saying there is a little bit of purge of fears that has been happening that is currently happening. And it's funny because I went through that too over the last few days. I went through a period of um reemergence of being afraid of my person <laughs> um being with another woman or another feminine or another someone else and um I had I really struggled with that. And it wasn't it wasn't that bad. Um, it was, I, okay, I didn't struggle with it. It was a challenge, but because, wait, do we have anything? No. Well, because with that hanged man energy in reverse, because of the fact that I have gone through this really deep healing period over the last year or whatnot, I was able to look at that energies, look at those energies of being afraid of not being good enough for one, for someone. And thus he goes off to someone else instead saying you know what that's not the, the 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 reality that i want to align with to therefore yes i know for a fact that that's a possibility that could i could definitely happen i mean there's an infinite amount of possibilities out there there are plenty there's an infinite number of of outcomes out there right it doesn't matter i don't have to worry about any of that i just need to focus on the outcome that i desire and that outcome is to be with my person right so instead of focusing on the fact of, oh, he's out there with someone else, I'm just going to focus on the fact that we're connected anyway. We're in union anyway. Like, I feel this energy all the time. I hear this all, all the time. I hear it from him all the time. Why focus on anything else in the external that doesn't necessarily align with what I know I feel? So my challenge over the last few days... Yep, yep, yep. My challenge over the last few days has been really facing that and really doing the work to change my focus there. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, so now let's get, haha, <laughs> death is at the, ooh, spirit wanted me to take these, so I'm going to take them. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> death was at the bottom of the deck, but now I do feel like it has come out here. Yes, it sure has. Interesting. These have come out reversed, though. And they're saying to leave them this way. We have death with the emperor and the king of swords. All of that is in reverse, though. Ah. Okay. This is not... The, the fact that these are in reverse is not a bad thing. This is literally what I was just talking about. These are being blocked, okay? It's being blocked by th this energy, five of pentacles, five of wands. Um, and I, I don't say that to say that, you know, you guys are, if you're resonating with this, you're, um, you're generating 
or trying to be in this energy. What I'm saying is this is coming up right now because it needs to be purged, it needs to be healed, it needs to be cleansed. It's part of the reason why you're still cordoned off here with the sun energy. But what what it's working on helping you influence here, I'm sorry, what it's working on influencing you towards is recognizing your worth, queen of pentacles, okay? And this is an energy that um, has been coming out a lot lately. The divine feminine collective is very much in this process. If you resonate with that, the divine feminine collective is very much in this process of understanding what her true worth is and not settling for anything less than that right? So in terms of what I was explaining for like what I've been dealing with over the last few days is don't even entertain the thought of your person being with someone else, period. Because you know what you're worthy of. You're not worthy of being two-timed. You're not worthy of being cheated on or lied to. So why would you even give that any of your focus or your attention? You know you're worthy of much more, right? And so if you are focusing on that and, and not focusing, instead not in focusing on your worth, what you are worthy of and what you do in fact deserve, then this is blocked. And what is this? The emperor, the ace of swords, and death. The emperor representing the masculine. Death representing the transformation. The ace of swords representing the truth. You are keeping yourself from transforming out of that by basically blocking the truth of your situation between you and your masculine, or if this isn't love, if this isn't about twin flame divine counterpart stuff, then um, you're blocking your manifestation. You are you you are giving your power away, okay? Because while the emperor, yes, the emperor does represent the divine masculine in divine counterpart situations, it also outside of that represents being the master of your own domain, taking control being in control, making the executive decisions for yourself in your life, not allowing anyone to sway you, not allowing anyone to tell you that what you're doing is wrong. No, you are the master of your own domain. But if you are not honoring yourself, honoring your worth, okay, then you are giving your power away and allowing others to define your world or your life for you, right? which is causing you to stay stuck and to not go through some sort of transformation that's necessary, okay? Okay. So now, let's talk about this. The Tower, the King of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and the King of Cups. I do want to reshuffle, because I was trying to shuffle before, but that just didn't let me. Just didn't let me. So I'm going to do it now. I want to clarify this for you guys a little bit here. Um, and I don't even, I don't even have an agenda for this. I just want to see what the cards, what cards come out. And then I'll interpret from there. All right. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Oh, what's I'm underneath the deck. The 10 of pentacles. The 10 of pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. I'm still going to pull, but I was guided to look. The Ten of Pentacles is talking about family, um, home and relationship. It's also talking about your career. I'm also, I'm also picking up on a financial windfall for somebody, especially if you're dealing with a legal system. I feel like there's going to be some sort of payout. Ten of Pentacles. Something is going to come to a completion, but something already has, something is about to come to a completion here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Yes. Which way to go? Which way to go? Ooh, how will I know? There you go. Justice. Again. Okay. So look, 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 you guys. Someone really is trying to make a decision. King of Wands. Now, this is definitely masculine energy. We have three kings here so far, and we have the Emperor on the table. The, the, what we're, the only thing that we're missing is the King of Pentacles. And I kind of feel like the, we're missing the King of Pentacles because there is this lack of self-worth type of energy still floating around here, okay? Um, lack of material wealth, lack of uh, f financial status, lack of um, material 
uh, material stuff, whether that be like the ideal house, the, 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 whatever. But that's all an illusion, okay? None of that is really all of that necessary for you to start getting things going, okay? But this clarification is in fact stating that someone here is trying to figure out how, how to move forward. How, which direction do I go in? How do I make this happen? It was literally, so let's recap. What I was picking up on here with this tower, King of Swords, Nine of Swords, and King of Cups. It's some sort of communication or it could be some action that is needed to, needed to be taken, is looking to be taken, is desired to be taken, and yet someone doesn't, someone is freaking the fuck out, y'all. <laughs> and someone, there is like a, there's... It, there's a maybe a little battle between mind and heart, but I still feel like it's a it's a it's it's a, a conversation about okay how do we do this? How do we do this? And I, like I said, the King of Swords is almost kind of like trying is kind of like trying to talk the King of Cups off the off the ledge here, um, but I, I mean in a good way in terms of like don't freak out. It's not as bad as you think. We can handle this. Like it's okay. We can do this. Okay, King of Wands, someone is really, really, really passionate about something, really, really wants to move in a new direction. This could be creatively, this could be love. Again, this could be the Divine Masculine. We have the, we have the Emperor and the King of Wands. Both of those officially represent the Divine Masculine in Twin Flame Divine Counterpart situations. Okay, but again, it doesn't have to be that way though, okay? It could be anything for you. And they're here, Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune, okay, look, timing is definitely a thing here, okay? Between the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune officially can talk about divine timing. It also, in this situation, is talking about destiny. So another part, piece of reassurance here is that this is in fact your destiny. Whatever it is you feel extremely strongly, passionately guided towards, moving towards, if this is a person, if this is a career, if this is a creative project, whatever. If you feel this strong, intuitive um, drive to go in this direction, it's happening for a reason. You're getting it from your higher self. You're getting guidance from your higher self and from the universe. This is your destiny, okay? So justice will be served. I, I, I almost want to go so far as to say you will not fail here. But also, timing is, an, is a part of the situation, okay? And that could be why the King of Cups is getting, like, so anxious and so, like, is freaking out so much. Because maybe you don't want to miss an opportunity. But you're not going to miss an opportunity. Also, the timing factor comes from the King of Wands. Because the King of Wands is not afraid to bide his time. The King of Wands is the individual that will sit there and watch and wait and observe until the right moment to strike. And that moment is coming. That's what the Wheel of Fortune is saying. That moment is coming. You just have to be patient, okay? Justice is, in fact, going to be served. Whatever happens is going to be balanced, and it's going to be right. Now, you could be talking, we definitely could be talking about the legal system here, okay? We have justice twice, but I also feel like this is, there's some sort of divine decree that I'm picking up on. Officially, that would be judgment, not justice, but I think it's coming through with justice because um, it's, justice is being served in the physical realms now rather than just in the spiritual realm. If it were, if it were judgment, it would, I think we would, I feel like we would be talking more of a spiritual energy. We are talking spiritual energy. It's very much a as above, so below situation. However, it's, I really feel like it's coming out as justice specifically because justice deals with the legal system, the law of cause and effect, uh, the laws of physical realm, that kind of, it, it's, it's like physical justice, whereas judgment is spiritual justice. But again, as above, so below, something has, you know, something has been divinely decreed in the spiritual realm. And now that is, ah, yes, now that is filtering down in 
to justice being served, scales being balanced in the physical realm. And it's interesting because that message was kind of coming out last week in terms of where I saw that purple and the red energy in which I was seeing someone was trying to make something real, trying to bring something into fruition. Again, some sort of spiritual reality is looking to be made manifest in the physical realm. Um, and while I was preparing for today's reading, I was seeing Brown in the collective, which was speaking to grounding, which, which again was talking about making something manifest in the material realm, okay? That is a really good energy. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I do want to clarify this, this here. Uh, Justice, the Two of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups, but I'm going to do it with the Golden Universal Tarot because I actually really just want to get um, spiritual guidance and advice from spirit in terms of this, in terms of whatever is about to be balanced out, whatever is about to play out, okay? All right. One last shuffle here. All right, spirit, so what advice do you have? Six of Cups, Justice, Two of Pentacles. The Six of Cups is, um, is giving me an energy of soulmates, someone from your past or something from your past, an element from your past, um, uh, maybe a creative project from your past, something that you've desired in the past, maybe as a kid, a, a teenager, a young adult, whatnot, whatever. Okay, it, again, guys, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But okay, so some spirit, some guidance for us, please, spirit, in terms of this. Six of Cups, Justice, Two of Pentacles, please. What is your guidance here in dealing with this? Seven of Pentacles. You reap what you've sown, and to be quite, ooh, the Knight of Wands. Oh, <laughs> there he is, guys. There's the king of pentacles right there. All right, look. Look, 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 look. Oh, yes, with the ace of pentacles. All right, so we definitely could be talking about divine counterparts because the queen of pentacles came out on this side with this stuff here. What is this? This is the five of pentacles, five of wands, and the sun, clarified by the ace of swords, the emperor, and death, those three being in reverse. But the queen of pentacles was of the overall energy at the bottom of the deck, and that was upright, okay? Here is the queen to that king, and here is an offer of commitment, ace of pentacles, okay? However, this is not an individual that's going to come in all hot and bothered or roughshod like he, he or she may have in the past. Knight of Wands energy is in reverse. He's not coming in trying to be all like fuckboyish. He or she, okay? And if this is not romantic for you, this is a situation. Oh, yes. I will tell you that in a second. This is a situation, if this is not romantic, if they, like say this is business or something like that, anything else, maybe a, yeah, Spirit is saying a creative project maybe, you are not looking to come into it all hot and bothered with all this intense energy only to, only to burn out quickly, okay? So that is why Knight of Wands in reverse. And if you're, if, if you're not in that mind space, then Spirit is saying that you need to get yourself in out of this Knight of Wands energy and into a way more mature view of this. You see, the Knight of Wands came out in reverse and it fell on the King of Wands, the Two of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune, biding your time. Divine timing is at hand. Handling this from a mature point of view, you have all four kings on the table. King of Swords, King of Cups, King of Wands, king of pentacles this is some mature ass energy this is a grown ass man this is a grown ass woman okay and they ain't playing no games whether that be you or a divine counterpart i guess or a counterpart or whatnot finally spirit's advice here seven of pentacles and the six of wands and this is why i was saying with this seven of pentacles that came out here this is not abysmal. Yes, this is an energy of you reap what you've sown, but check it out. 
You've sown some real good shit. Seven of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Victory is at hand. Accolades, recognition even. Someone has grown and they're ready to show and prove. Whatever is coming through for you here, whatever ship is coming in that you're aware is coming, you can feel it, you know it's coming. So you're just, in the meantime, you're just biding your time here, keeping things in balance, keeping your finances in balance, keeping your mind in balance. Hello, hello, King of Swords, King of Cups, keeping those emotions in balance, keeping your ego in check even. It's like these two are literally checking each other right now because there's a ton of anxiety. There's fears, there's what if, what if, what if. Don't worry about that. You got something good coming to you, whether this be the King of Pentacles coming to you to make some sort of offer, or you stepping into that King of Pentacles power to make an offer to someone else, or to, to work on becoming financially stable. I did hear that. Whatever this represents for you, you're about to, to reap some really good stuff, guys. All right? So stay patient. Stay in the flow. Stay in the vortex. Okay. And everything is going to turn out just fine. I, ooh, no, no. I was going to look under the, the Ace of Pentacles, but I'm not going to do that. Because that could just open up a whole can of worms. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's get our Oracle Guidance here. Oh, Lord. All right. Well, the Four of Wands is underneath Justice. Okay. So what Justice is going to be served here? probably a union or marriage of some sort four of wands and we did have the king and the queen of pentacles those are officially husband hus husband and wifey status you know <laughs> oh boy but feminines if that is this is resonating with you feminines you need to focus not on the fact that some that your counterpart your divine masculine whatnot whatever your soulmate however you describe it, do not focus on the fact that they might be out there with somebody else, especially if you're not in communication with them right now, because you are only going to align with that. Only focus on that which you know you are worthy of, you know that you deserve, and that which you actually want. Do not waste any of your time or energy focusing on anything else other than exactly what it is you want, okay? All right. So, Oracle Guidance for today's reading. Okay, here we go, kids. Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. <laughs> yes! Oh, that is perfect! Card number 52, which boils down to a seven, guys. Seven of pentacles here, okay? Um, goddess Durga and Hematite, spear of the Guru Mother. And again, this card is absolutely perfect for what we're talking about here, all right? So let's get into it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. There it is. All right. Let's see here. Let's see. Here. We bring you the empowerment of Spear of the Guru Mother. Sometimes there is so much choice that we struggle to commit. It is often not an issue of unwillingness to make an effort, but concern that the choice might not be the, quote, right choice. We might pray to the universe to be shown what to do according to a wisdom greater than our own. Although we are though I'm sorry, although our free will is always in place, we are able to accept the task divinely given or reject it. The universe answers every prayer. In your heart, you have been asking for guidance to be shown what you need to do in a particular situation or perhaps more generally in your life at this time. You want to know the best way forward so your actions are in alignment with heaven. In response, you have now become the spear of the Guru Mother. There's more of this that I would like to read, so bear with me for a second here. I don't want to read the whole thing. Um, okay. 
Okay. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> the oracle also comes to you with this understanding. If the divine gives you a task, you can handle it. Even if you are going to need to grow, you have it within to complete it successfully. When the universe gives you an opportunity or life situation to work through, it is giving you a vote of confidence. The Divine Mother says to you, here is my will. I'll empower you. Now go for it. If you want to take her advice, don't hesitate or doubt. Be as focused and forward moving as if you were the spear she had thrown with her almighty hand and flawless aim heading straight towards the center of the target. When this oracle of the spear of the guru mother comes to you, you are being told your efforts have divine power behind them. The situations in your life you are willing to grapple with are going to resolve far more quickly and potently than you might have believed possible. The power of your own efforts, amplified with divine will, creates extraordinary movement. Distraction, procrastination, and hesitation shall not touch you. Your focus will be complete and your task shall be attained. The trust you feel in yourself and the divine will increase because of this. You will gain more confidence in yourself. You'll become game for bigger and bolder challenges. The universe will be able to ask more of you and give you more because you shall be increasingly open to it. The risk you take at this time with absolute intention will bring you so much more than resolution than resolution of the task at hand. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.